We'll show you some return values. We'll do a int, and we'll have an add function, which takes the first and the second, and it returns the first plus the second. Okay? And we'll say the bar result equals the add function of one and two, which will be three. We'll turn out the result, which should be three. Run this guy. And as you can see, it's three. So, an int will return that. You'll notice that my result currently has no type declaration. Now, we could do it as such with an actual int rather than a var. Keep in mind, a var inside a function is very similar to JavaScript, where it is a local variable. It has the added addition of being a variant or anything or typeless, right? In our case, we want to use some strong type. I'm just going to say int results. Run it again. And it'll result in the same thing, but the point here is we don't notice any problem. Now, if we say string, do that, it'll fail because it's a hey, it'll just a warning, which is really just an Say, hey, you can't do that, it's a string, right? So this is the power of the optional typing system at work. Functions will handle that, and they are awesome. The same is true for the parameters. You'll notice that these parameters are not typed. So if we do a one, right, which sometimes will work in JavaScript. It's not going to give us anything because these are not typed. So if we want to start typing our parameters, say, no, 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 this is addition. We have numbers here. We don't deal with your string types. You'll notice it'll get mad because you can't pass a string in. That is a string. It's got to be a number. You can only add numbers as in this function case, right? So that's the power of the optional strong typing at work, type system at work. Oh, my God, this coffee is so much better than the coffee I get at work.